I bought this product in January and I didn't start to use it until maybe a month ago. So I have purchased this product before years ago and just periodically I bought it a few times. So I know the consistency is thicker than what I really like. So I already knew when I purchased it that I was going to put some castor oil in it to make it smoother for my application. So that's what I did. I put some into this smaller container that was empty and I put some castor oil in it to smooth it out. Just mixed it up really nice and I used it and then I, I noticed that the product had some very very fine granules in it and so I thought maybe the mixture of the castor oil and the sulfur product didn't really mix well maybe the, the, maybe that was the reason why I had the granules in there so I threw the first batch out and I said I'll, I'll not use the castor oil anymore I'll mix it with some other oil instead to make it really soft so I don't remember what oil I used the second time, but I noticed that I still had those granules in there. So uh, today I was, for some reason today, I don't know why it was that I was using this one instead of the other one. I was just playing with it, I guess. And I noticed that the granules is actually in the original product. It didn't have anything to do with mixing it with something else. And I'm trying to give you a very, very close up to see if you can see those granules in there. Well, the granules feel like sand. And so I was concerned because when I originally purchased this product, I didn't have that sandy feeling. So I figured, well, maybe it's just old. And then I turned it over to look at the expiration date. And you can see that it's smearing. But if you see that expiration September 20, it, you, can, you can barely tell what that last number is. But my estimate would be a 5. I'm thinking that could be a 5. So that means that it expired in 2015. Okay. If it's not a 5, it would have to be a 3, which is even older. So I never really concerned myself so much with the expiration of a grease product like this because I always thought that grease like this would last, my experience has been that it lasts years and years. You can have a grease product like this for five or ten years and it will still be perfectly fine. So for this to have a sandy consistency really irritated me. And then that expiration date made me feel like, oh, I'm just going to dump this because I've had it since January. I'm sure I don't have my receipt anymore. And even if I did, they wouldn't honor it for uh, six, five, six months later. So I'm just going to dump it in the trash. But this is a note to myself that the next time I buy this, which is it's gonna be quite a while before I purchase this sulfur product from this company again, just because of this very fact. But if I ever do, I'm gonna test it before I leave the parking lot so that if it's grainy, if it's sandy, I can just take it right back in the store and get a refund. Because I don't like feeling like I'm placing sand in my hair and I don't like having to throw away my products because I consider it to be throwing away my money. So I just wanted to say this to make a record that I got to still pay more attention to these expiration dates. And when they have washed off the expiration dates at the store, I gotta actually look inside the jar while I'm in the store and look and in, in, in determine whether it looks fresh or not because I'm just not pleased about this. 